Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a small Trader Joe's haul, smaller than I've done in the past. And the reason being is because my last haul that I, that I put out, which was a budget haul, um, has actually lasted me two weeks. So initially when I shot the haul, I thought that was food that was to, gonna be lasting a full week, but actually it's gotten us two weeks now. And so I'm starting off this next week um, with just some things that I needed to throw into the mix because I already still have some stuff left over from the past um, haul. And it's crazy because, I mean, we haven't been eating out. So we've really been cooking at home and I had a lot of other things in our pantry and our freezer that I've been using. You guys always give me really great tips on how to save money by using the stuff that I already have and that's been helpful too. But I do need some things to just fill up what we are missing for this week. So I think in total my bill was about $65. And some of these things are specific to what I'm making for breakfast tomorrow. And also some dinner options. My parents are actually coming over tonight to allow my husband and I to have a date night. And I had to pick up some easy foods to, so they can make dinner tonight. And um, I'll show you guys everything that I got for that as well. I just wanted to let you guys know that this haul is kind of like an in-between. So I am still trying to budget. And I have been lucky to get as much use out of the groceries I bought in the last haul that I have. So let me show you guys the in-between haul. I'm gonna start here with the bread. I shared this in the last haul. Um, we obviously went through a loaf of bread in two weeks, so I just picked up some more to replenish. Some more olive oil potato chips. I got two cans of green chilies, and these are a really good deal at Trader Joe's, and I love these to make my egg bake. If you guys haven't seen the recipe for my egg bake, I highly recommend you check it out because I've been making this pretty much once a week since before Christmas because it has been just so delicious lately. And um, yeah, I'll put that link in the description below if you guys are interested in seeing that recipe, but. I'm making that again for tomorrow's breakfast, so I picked up some green chilies. I got some sour cream, and that again is for the same recipe, along with the three cheese blend that's shredded. I love this cheese. It's super versatile, and it's a little bit thicker shreds than the Mexican blend. So if you want something that has a little bit of thicker shreds, I recommend this, and it's uh, mozzarella, Monterey Jack, and cheddar cheese. I also picked up my go-to organic jumbo eggs, and I use this in the recipe as well. So this is like my breakfast stuff here. And then I also grabbed some blood orange velaments. If you guys haven't tried these, I highly recommend you do because these mints are very potent, but they are so good. Um, this is probably my favorite flavor, and then there's also a grapefruit one that I love too. But if you guys like blood orange, try these mints. They're so easy to just have in your purse and then take one out whenever you need it. And it's almost like having candy, so, you know, it's a win-win. Good breath and yummy taste in your mouth. The next thing I grabbed are these Vela Mints White Gum. This is the only gum that Trader Joe's sells, and I love this because it's a strong minty flavor. And the flavor lasts a lot longer than normal gum does, so I really like having this in my purse, and it's super thin. So you can just throw it in your car or your purse, and they don't melt. Like, I know some gum, if you leave it in your car, they start to melt and get gross. These are like hard, they look like mints, and they are kind of like a harder shell. So once you bite into them, they get soft, but they're good for um, long stays in a car or a purse. The next thing I grabbed is a three cheese vegetable ravioli. These are for my parents to make for tonight's dinner because they're gonna be watching Benson and they can all enjoy this and it's an easy meal to make. It takes only three minutes to make these so I really love these and the, the veggie ravioli is like one of my favorites. I also grabbed some blueberries. These guys look huge. If you guys can, I don't know if you can tell but these blueberries are like ginormous. Here is my thumb next to a blueberry and it's like twice the size. So very big blueberries, they looked good. So I picked those up. 
I also grabbed some tater tots and I actually am gonna use these in my chili egg bake. I don't think in the recipe that I shared with you guys, I used the tater tots in the bottom, but I've been using tater tots now at the very bottom to just make it a more hearty dish and it seems to be working out perfect. And I love, love, love Trader Joe's tater tots. Another thing you guys have seen a lot of are the big soft pretzels. These are frozen, my husband's favorite. These are just always in our freezer at all times. I also picked up the broccoli and kale slaw pre-mixed salad kit. And this again is for my parents tonight so they can have a salad to go with their meal. Um, this is just a really popular go-to one. I know how delicious it is, I love it. My mom buys the same one at Costco that's like twice the size. But um, since it's just her, my dad, and Benson, I thought I would just get this small bag for them. The next thing I grabbed is the organic cold pressed Fuji apple spice cider. You guys have seen this in the hall, in my halls in the past. This is one of my favorite juices to give to my son because it's cold pressed, so it still retains all the vitamins and nutrients. It's just um, really flavorful too, so it's really good. This next one is brand new. I'm so excited to try this, you guys. Cold pressed pineapple juice. I mean. Sign me up, I love pineapple juice and this just looks so good. I cannot wait to try it. I think I'm gonna do a taste test video and have this be in it, so um, stay tuned for that. But how cute is the packaging too? I love the little pineapple on the front. So I can't wait to try that. I also picked up the rhubarb and strawberry soda and the um, seltzer water that's blood orange and orange juice flavored. I've showed you guys these two. Um, these have been just kind of, I don't know, in our rotation recently. So I picked some more of those up. I also grabbed a couple cans of wine because we we're going to the movies tonight and I didn't want to pay for a $10 drink at the movie theater. So. I'm being cheap and bringing my own wine, and I'm gonna try the rosé, and I think Tim is gonna try the Pinot Noir. And someone at my work told me that these are equivalent to half a bottle of wine, so um, it's not too bad. It's a little pricey, I will, I will admit it's a little pricey, but since I am way under budget now for two weeks, I decided to splurge and buy these two. And then the last two things I grabbed is, the first one is the Romano Caesar dressing. This is my husband's favorite dressing for his salads. And this brand new dressing, this is the Vinaigrette Rosé, and I did get a chance to try this. This stuff is amazing, you guys. If you see this at your store and you like vinaigrette, I highly recommend you try it. This is such a great dressing, and there were two other flavors they just came out with as well, and they'll, you'll see them all next to each other on the grocery aisle. One of them is a fig balsamic. I was not a fan at all. It was way too figgy, in my opinion. And the other one was a sesame, and that was amazing as well. I just don't eat too many Asian-style um, salads, but because that dressing is so good, I think I'm gonna pick one up and get creative with some recipes using it because I'm telling you guys, these are like such great dressings. So give them a try. And there you have it guys, this little mini haul with all the things I picked up for about $65. Thank you guys so much for watching this haul. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And speaking of thumbs, that was the answer of the last riddle from my last video. So Jacqueline Butler was the first to answer that question. Thank you so much for playing this fun little game that I have going. And I have my next riddle for you guys, and here it is. What is three-sevenths chicken, two-thirds cat, and a half goat? Please answer in the comments down below if you are the first to get that answer correct. I will go ahead and give you a shout out in my next video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!